In mathematics, a Borel set is any set in a topological space that can be formed from open sets through the operations of countable union, countable intersection, and relative complement. Borel sets are named after Emile Borel. For a topological space X, the collection of all Borel sets on X forms a sigma algebra, known as the Borel algebra or Borel sigma algebra. The Borel algebra on X is the smallest sigma algebra containing all open sets. Borel sets are important in measure theory, since any measure defined on the open sets of a space, or on the closed sets of a space, must also be defined on all Borel sets of that space. Any measure defined on the Borel sets is called a Borel measure. Borel sets and the associated Borel hierarchy also play a fundamental role in descriptive set theory. In some contexts, Borel sets are defined to be generated by the compact sets of the topological space, rather than the open sets. The two definitions are equivalent for many well-behaved spaces, including all Hausdorff sigma compact spaces, but can be different in more pathological spaces. Generating the Borel algebra, in the case X is a metric space, the Borel algebra in the first sense may be described generatively as follows. For a collection T of subsets of X of X, let be all countable unions of elements of T, be all countable intersections of elements of T. Now defined by transfinite induction a sequence GM, where M is an ordinal number, in the following manner. For the base case of the definition, let be the collection of open subsets of X. If I is not a limit ordinal, then I has an immediately preceding ordinal I minus 1. Let if I is a limit ordinal set, the claim is that the Borel algebra is G omega 1, where omega 1 is the first uncountable ordinal number. That is, the Borel algebra can be generated from the class of open sets by iterating the operation to the first uncountable ordinal. To prove this claim, note that any open set in a metric space is the union of an increasing sequence of closed sets. In particular, complementation of sets maps GM into itself for any limit ordinal M. Moreover, if M is an uncountable limit ordinal, GM is closed under countable unions. Note that for each Borel set B, there is some countable ordinal alpha B such that B can be obtained by iterating the operation over alpha B. However, as B varies over all Borel sets, alpha B will vary over all the countable ordinals, and thus the first ordinal at which all the Borel sets are obtained is omega 1, the first uncountable ordinal. Example An important example, especially in the theory of probability, is the Borel algebra on the set of real numbers. It is the algebra on which the Borel measure is defined. Given a real random variable defined on a probability space, its probability distribution is by definition also a measure on the Borel algebra. The Borel algebra on the rails is the smallest sigma algebra on R which contains all the intervals. In the construction by transfinite induction, it can be shown that, in each step, the number of sets is, at most, the power of the continuum. So, the total number of Borel sets is less than or equal to standard Borel spaces and Kuratowski theorems. Let X be a topological space. The Borel space associated to X is the pair, where B is the sigma algebra of Borel sets of X. Mackey defined a Borel space somewhat differently, writing that it is a set together with a distinguished sigma field of subsets called its Borel sets. However, modern usage is to call the distinguished subalgebra measurable sets in such spaces measurable spaces. The reason for this distinction is that the Borel sets of the sigma algebra are generated by open sets. Whereas Mackey's definition refers to a set equipped with an arbitrary sigma algebra, there exist measurable spaces that are not Borel spaces, for any choice of topology on the underlying space. Measurable spaces form a category in which the morphisms are measurable functions between measurable spaces. A function is measurable if it pulls back measurable sets, i.e., for all measurable sets B in Y is a measurable set in X. Theorem. Let X be a Polish space, that is, 
a topological space such that there is a metric d on x which defines the topology of x and which makes x a complete separable metric space. Then x as a Borel space is isomorphic to one of R, Z or a finite space. Considered as Borel spaces, the real line R, the union of R with a countable set, and Rn are isomorphic. A standard Borel space is the Borel space associated to a Polish space. A standard Borel space is characterized up to isomorphism by its cardinality, and any uncountable standard Borel space has the cardinality of the continuum. For subsets of Polish spaces, Borel sets can be characterized as those sets which are the ranges of continuous injective maps defined on Polish spaces. Note, however, that the range of a continuous non-injective map may fail to be Borel. See analytic set. Every probability measure on a standard Borel space turns it into a standard probability space. Non-Borel sets. An example of a subset of the rails which is non-Borel, due to losing, is described below. In contrast, an example of a non-measurable set cannot be exhibited, though its existence can be proved. Every irrational number has a unique representation by a continued fraction where is some integer and all the other numbers are positive integers. Let be the set of all irrational numbers that correspond to sequences with the following property. There exists an infinite subsequence such that each element is a divisor of the next element. This set is not Borel. In fact, it is analytic, and complete in the class of analytic sets. For more details see Descriptive Set Theory in the book by Kekris, especially exercise on page 209, definition on page 169, and exercise on page 14. Another non-Borel set is an inverse image of an infinite parity function. However, this is a proof of existence, not an explicit example. Alternative non-equivalent definitions, according to Halmos. A subset of a locally compact Hausdorff topological space is called a Borel set if it belongs to the smallest sigma ring containing all compact sets. Norberg and Vervaert redefine the Borel algebra of a topological space as the algebra generated by its open subsets and its compact saturated subsets. This definition is well suited for applications in the case where is not Hausdorff. It coincides with the usual definition if is second countable or if every compact saturated subset is closed.